Okay, well, I was wishing that I get this uh, glow to stick to a moving model, but it doesn't really. It's okay for a static model. And obviously, you could create many different levels or different whatevers with this. Um, this actually is just a uh, Element 3D background with just a normal text layer over it that's being pushed by Saber and just the only trick is when you do the text for the normal front front layer can't really even see it it's got to be this white white outline text and the way you do that is by creating the selecting the text and highlighting all the letters at the, all the letters involved Whoa. And then, then uh, play with this until you get the white outline. Uh, I guess what you do with this to make it look cooler is make multi levels, multi duplicates of the uh, text for Saber, and then you you know stack them up to look cool, and then you turn off these lights before you move it. These uh, you know these neon lights before you move it. Otherwise, this looks pretty cool. It's uh, like the colors and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, there you go. Loving it. And uh, so, uh, and actually, you can limit that that glow, that back glow, to with this here. Uh, you actually want to mask glow. That well, doesn't really work. Doesn't get a disable it. Work because it's got a. Actually, because there is no inner there, you gotta throw the whole thing. Or it's being blocked from behind or something. That's pretty cool, though. I gotta say, that's that's not bad. Pretty cool. I like the way it throws the ambient light onto the stage there. That's really cool. I guess if you switched up your presets, you'd have a different color and all that, and a different effect for the for glow. What you don't have, it seems like you don't have much on the inside here. It's kind of too bad, but that's okay. You don't want to fluff up the inside too much this is gonna have to be cool enough all right the end uh.